A November content update just dropped for Pokemon Go, so let's go over everything that's happening. There is a ton of good raid bosses, some really cool looking events during this month, so let's jump into it, starting with the raids. In the Mega Raids from November 4th to November 11th, we're going to have Mega Manectric. From November 11th to November 18th, we're going to have Mega Salamance. Then from November 18th to November 27th, we will have Mega Beedrill and Mega Ampharos. And then from November 27th till December 3rd, we will have Mega Altaria. In terms of the best ones here, it is good to get one of each Mega type. They are good for boosting candies and their unique type combinations make them good for different events. But in terms of raid attackers here, Manectric is the best electric type Mega. Then we have Mega Sally, which is the third best Dragon Mega coming in after Ray and Garchomp. It is the sixth best as a shadow though overall for dragons. So you might want to use this to farm some candies. And if you don't have a good Mega Salamence, get that Mega Energy and a good IV one. Mega Beedrill is the second best poison type raid attacker. Mega Gengar does come in first there. Now in the five star raids are where we're going to see some of the best ones that we're going to see during this month. So we have Lugia from November 4th to November 18th, Dialga and Palkia in their origin forms from November 18th to November 27th. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second because there's important stuff to know there. And then from November 27th to December 3rd, we're going to have a lot of the Galar legendaries. That includes Zacian, Zamazenta, Regieleki, and Regieleki. Drago. Again, we'll talk a little bit more about what that's going to look like because raid hour for that week will look a little bit different, I'm sure. But a couple other things to note here before we move on. Kugi is going to know its signature attack, Arrow Blast, during the time that it's out. So this is definitely a good time to hunt this one if you don't already have it. And then in terms of the origin forms, if you get them between November 18th at 10 a.m. and November 24th at 11.59 p.m. from raids, they do have a chance to know their signature attacks. And if you're not aware, those do come with adventure effects, which means you can use those attacks to have effects on the overworld map. Do note here, this is not the entire time they're out. They're out from November 18th till November 27th. So November 25th, 26th, and 27th, they will not have a chance to know their signature moves. However, the reason you might want to go after them, even without that chance, is because their signature moves require their candy to activate the adventure effects. I'll throw up some graphics on screen Screen here. You can see their adventure effects. So Dialga has Roar of Time and Palkia has Spatial Rend. They each have unique effects, but as you can see, you need their candy to be able to activate them. So you might want to go after them even when they can't have these moves just to get that candy. But let's move on to the raid hours here now. So you can see the raid hours up on screen. We're going to have Lugia raid hour on both November 6th and November 13th. Then on November 19th, we're going to have Nihiligo. November 20th, we're going to have Tapu Koko. November 21st, we're going to have Origin Form Dialga. November 22nd, we're going to have Origin Form Palkia. And then on the 27th, we're going to get all of these Zacian, Zamazenta, Regieleki, and Regidrago, which means they'll probably just kind of be spread out everywhere. All of them will be spawning in raids during that time. It'll make it a little harder to go after one if you're after one in particular, but the Zacian and Zamazenta shinies are the new shiny debuts, so both of those can be shiny. If you missed any of those, definitely go after them while they're out again in November and probably during the raid hour too. But again, like I said, it'll be a little bit harder to target them because we're going to have four raid bosses during that raid hour. Now you'll notice here November 19th, November 20th, November 21st, and November 22nd are all raid hours. Those aren't all Wednesdays, obviously. That is the lead up to the wild area event. Once again, we're getting raid hours that lead up to a big event like this. We got that before Sinnoh Tour. We got that before GoFest. I like that they're continuing this. It does make those weeks a lot of fun. Lots to do in Pokemon Go, not just during that event, but in the week leading up to it as well. One other thing to note here, if you look at the blue bubble at the top, during raid hours in November, trainers will receive one guaranteed rare candy XL when catching Pokemon from in-person five-star raids. That's a huge bonus to add to these raid hours. Lots of raid hours happening this month too. Rare Candy XL, very good resource, very hard to get in Pokemon Go. So definitely good to participate in these raid hours if you've got the time. Okay, and then lastly for our raids, we are going to have a Shadow Legendary boss on the weekends like normal. This time it's going to be Shadow Suicune coming back. So if you're missing that shiny, it does look fantastic as a Shadow. Definitely a good one to go after. Just keep in mind, these are in-person raids only. So you have to catch a group of people in your local area to be able to take down these big Shadow Raid bosses. All right, now our new section. Let's talk about the max battles we're going to have for November. We're going to have Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle all coming back. 
they can be shiny, so fun shiny hunts there. And then we're gonna have Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble as well. Definitely good to get all of these. As I've said in previous videos, this is basically climbing the Dynamax ladder. You start with these small starters that are easy in the one-star battles. You level them up, you power up their max moves, and that's gonna help you take on the bigger Dynamax battles and Gigantamax battles that are coming. We're also gonna have a new weekly event starting in Pokemon Go. This is similar to the Spotlight Hours and the Raid Hours. It's gonna happen on Monday. It's called Max Mondays from 6 to 7 p.m. During this time, the featured Dynamax boss will take over all max power spots on the map. So for November 11th, we're gonna have Dynamax Charmander. November 18th, we're gonna have Dynamax Drillbur. That's a brand new one. And then on November 25th, we're gonna have Dynamax Bulbasaur. Notice there, they can all be shiny. And before we move on to the events for November, we're gonna talk about the spotlight hours here. You can see on November 5th, we're getting that Surskit spotlight hour with two times transfer candy. So any Pokemon that you've been hanging on to that you want more candy for, transfer them during the spotlight hour, get that double candy. November 12th, we're having Smolov with two times evolution XP. November 19th, we're getting another combined one with Teddy, Ursa, and Combi, and that is two times catch Stardust. That's a huge one. Combi is a boosted Stardust Pokemon, so you get 750 Stardust for each catch. So during the spotlight hour with that two times, you'll get 1500. And then if you put a star piece on top of that, you're gonna get 2,250 Stardust per combi catch. Teddy Ursas will also be out. They are not a boosted Stardust catch. So if you have a lot of both of them, definitely target the combis first. And then on November 26th, we're gonna have two times catch XP for that Joltik Spotlight Hour. All right, now let's talk about all the events that are gonna happen during November. This is gonna be a very big month. We're getting a brand new, huge global event that is in line with GoFest and the Go Tours. It will be very big, lots of good stuff coming out. So let's take a look at the calendar here and see all of the events. On November 2nd to November 3rd, we're gonna have Go Battle Weekend. November 7th to November 12th, is going to be the Harvest Festival. Interesting to see what that one is going to be. November 10th is going to be our next Community Day. That is going to be Mankey Community Day. Primeape and Annihilate getting that signature move Rage Fist. Note that you don't have to evolve all the way to Annihilate to get Rage Fist. You can just evolve to Primeape. I'll go over that more in the info video for that event. November 15th to November 17th, we're getting Simply Groundbreaking. For this one, I'm guessing that is going to be the debut of the Dynamax Drillbur. This event is happening right before it's getting its Max Monday event. So that's probably where it it will debut. Then November 18th to November 22nd, we're getting an event called Into the Wild. The start and end times here are interesting. It starts at 12.01 a.m. and then ends at 11.59 p.m. Those are the times we usually see for rocket events, but based on the name of this, I'm thinking it might not be a rocket event. It might be a Dynamax and Gigantamax focused event. If you don't know, the wild area comes from Sword and Shield. That's where you get a lot of the max dens where you do max battles in that game. So I'm guessing we're gonna see something focused on that there. November 23rd to 24th, we're gonna have the Pokemon Go Wild Area Global Event. This is the brand new huge event in Pokemon Go that is in line with GoFest and the Go Tour events. As I said, there will be a lot of big stuff coming during this two-day weekend event. I'll make a video closer to the date going over everything you need to know about that. And then our last event for November here is November 27th to December 1st. That's called Max Out Finale. My guess is this is going to be a rehash of everything we've got for max battles up until this point. Dynamax at least, maybe the Gigantamax as well. But if you've missed any of those, this would be a good time to go after them, or if you're shiny hunting any that are left, going after those shinies. All right, everybody, that's all the information I have for you in this video. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments down below or come to our Discord. Join our great community there. We've got tons of knowledgeable people. Lots of information goes up about each event as it comes out. We do contests and giveaways and lots of other fun stuff in there as well. But right now we have to say a huge thank you to our mythical members, High Five Louise, Liam, King's Lounge, Body on a Planet, and Kate. Thank you to them for supporting the channel at the mythical level, as well as all of our members, as well as every one of you that watches the video comes to the live streams whether you lurk or chat hit that like button hit that subscribe button all that stuff is super helpful and great free ways to support the channel and make sure I'm able to do future videos and live streams so once again huge thank you to all of you I wish you much shiny luck for the month of November happy hunting and we'll see you in the next one friends I've got something incredibly funky